Hello my friends and welcome to a very special pregnancy video. It's maternity haul time. So I'm currently 24 weeks pregnant and I am lucky enough to be pregnant alongside one of my favorite people, one of our lovely collective members, Rachel. She is 30 weeks and we wanted to do a fun pregnancy video together. This is her last video before she takes her maternity leave. So we did some online shopping at three popular maternity brands that are all at three different price ranges. So we have Old Navy, Pink Blush, and Stork. We're gonna try on our new bump friendly outfits together, give you our honest review. So if you're pregnant and you're looking to shop, hopefully this is helpful to you. And if you're not, and you just want something on in the background while you're on your lunch break or doing your makeup, hopefully this is entertaining. Happy to have you here too. Ooh, go comment whatever you're doing right now as you're watching this. And now I should probably stop talking so we can try on these clothes. Here we go. Hello. Hi. I'm so excited for this video. <laughs> Me too. I mean, we're basically just gonna try on clothes and look pregnant, so. Yeah. And the first thing we're gonna do is jeans, which has been a difficult but exciting <laughs> world for me to navigate because I don't fit into any of my old jeans anymore, so. Je jeans in general, like not pregnant, yeah. already such a struggle. And then add in this like ever-changing bump that's different, not only day to day, week to week, but also like morning to night. So true. Like, how do we make this work? No, it's impossible, <laughs> and uh, I'm excited to see how this goes. Now, the thing with Old Navy is, they are, in general, like a size-inclusive brand. They go up to a 4X. Mm -hmm. That is not true for their maternity line. I'm gonna be trying on a double XL or a size 20, and that is the biggest size they carry in maternity. And actually, in general, I feel like a lot of brands that tend to be size-inclusive, they don't do that for maternity. Well, what? Fat people get pregnant too. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. You would think the world would be getting more and more inclusive and not less and less inclusive. Yeah, honestly, um, hate to see it. But I do love that Old Navy at least has one of the more accessible price points for maternity clothes. Yes, definitely true. This was way more of like affordable than the other brands we looked at. Um, I will say the only thing though is, so we're not trying on, as you can see, the same items. We wanted to get things in our own style because we're not really doing a size comparison here we were just kind of doing a review of the brand and when I was looking at Old Navy everything was very basic plain jeans plain leggings plain t-shirts which is super helpful and it's great to have basics in your closet and maybe I should have some more but if you're looking for something that like expresses your personal style I feel like Old Navy is not the place to go yeah and especially in pregnancy when you can feel like you're losing a part of yourself or you're kind of struggling with identity and feeling like yourself using clothes to express your yourself and your personal style can be a huge confidence boost Yes. And I do feel like maternity clothes have a very specific look. Yes. <laughs> Yes, they're like, you're a mom now, here's your mom uniform. Yeah. So, I mean, I did find some stuff that had some flowers and patterns on it, but I had to hunt a little bit on the website. All right, should we start with our jeans? Yes. Okay, so I got the maternity full panel ripped cut off wide leg jeans, and I got these in a 20 short. I do love that they have the different length options. I paid $33 for these. They were 40% off, so I've, I think originally they were more, but honestly, if you're ever paying the full like tag price at Old Navy, you're doing something wrong because they always have like a oh. million in sales. Every single time. <laughs> and I got the maternity front low panel distressed flare jeans. I got them in a size 12 regular and they were $33, but also at that same 40% off. Um, they're different. Yes, so <laughs> mine are full panel. So this is like gonna go over oh, the belly. I like that better. And I think yours are like the, un they go under the belly, right? Oh no. Or they just stretch around <laughs> is it? Is that what that means? <laughs> okay, I'm scared. <laughs> they feel pretty good. Yours look cute. Yeah, I like I'm excited about these. And then with that, I'm gonna be trying on the maternity waffle knit Henley top in a double XL. This was $22.19. And then to go with my jeans, I got the maternity fitted elbow sleeve rib knit top in a size medium for $12. Dollars and 28 cents. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, I like this. This is like thick, it's That's soft. Really cute. This I could see myself like wearing now and liking it, but also wearing when I'm like 39 weeks pregnant and miserable what and still being comfy. Yeah, I like this. This is one of my favorite colors. It looks small, but it feels stretchy, so I have hope. Yes, and it has, I can see it has like the oh. kind of gathers on the side, so it's gonna like go out with your belly. And I just think like a ribbed fitted top like that is so cute in pregnancy. Well, we'll see. Let's see. <laughs> okay, the jeans are on. The jeans are on. And ours are very different. Not, yeah. not only in the band, but also just in the general fit. Yeah, mine are more of like a really loose mom jean. They're kind of baggy all the way through. But I feel like a lot of the times with jeans like that, it's a really rigid denim. Yeah. These are so stretchy. 
so comfortable. We've got the, the panel that goes all the way over the belly. That's nice. Yeah, really my only fear with these is that I'm gonna be doing this all the time because so they feel a little loose. They feel a little loose. Yeah, mine has the just this so you can see my belly. Uh, I don't think I like that. Um, mine are also a tighter jean just in the fit all around. It's interesting, I got a size 12. Before I was pregnant, I was a size 10, but if anything, I would get these in a 14. They just feel a little a little too tight. I think they're, they're a little small, which is, you know, it's just so confusing when you're pregnant to know what size to order, honestly. It's just on, well, it's not really on me because something I don't think we've said is that Old Navy does not sell maternity clothes in store. Yeah. So I would have never been able to go in and be like, oh, it turns out I'm a 14 these days. Like I would have ordered these thinking this was right. And so yeah, it's, it's hard because I'm like, oh, I got the wrong size, but I didn't think I got the wrong size. Yeah, our original idea with this video was to go inside the dressing room trying maternity clothes. Yeah. And there was literally not a single store except a small section in a Target near us that the had smallest any section. maternity stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I think I these are definitely a keep for me. I really like these. They're very comfortable. I also like the look of them. Yeah. They're a similar style to what I would choose not pregnant. Yeah, and they're really cute. Thank you. I like them. <laughs> I, God, they're so cute. Yeah. But. I just don't think it's something that I would retry. I think I probably would return these for a different pair of jeans. We're talking maternity clothes here. They're not the most comfortable and I'm not the biggest fan of this belt. I think if you're gonna get maternity jeans, that's the style to go with. So I will rate these maybe like a seven, six, six out of 10, six out of 10. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give mine an eight out of 10. They're really comfortable. I like them, but they're not like blowing me away. I do think I'm gonna end up getting a lot of wear out of these though. Now let's talk. Tops. The upper half. <laughs> How do you feel in yours? Oh, I love this shirt. Yeah. I love it. I think it's really cute. I love the color. It's like this nice ribbed fabric and uh, it is gonna like grow with me. It's not like the softest shirt in the world, but for the price, it's really cute. And I really like it and I definitely can see myself wearing it. I'm definitely gonna keep this one. And how do you feel about your shirt is really cute. I like this. It doesn't feel super maternity to me. No. You know, it's just kind of loose, but then when I turn to the side, I'm like, oh, Right. That's maternity. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I like the way it looks with these jeans. I could wear it with leggings. It would be cute even like layered under overalls. I really like the look of it. It's very, it looks really cozy. Is it cozy? It's super cozy. I feel like I could just cuddle up in it. It's also in my color palette. That's right. As a summer. Oh, this is in my color palette as an autumn. There you go. No wonder we look so hot. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this. It's nothing special though. You right. know, it is a basic, but it's a cute basic. It's cozy, it's comfy. I think I'll probably wear this exact outfit taking Grace to her little preschool class next week. So. I mean, it's cute. I think you should. <laughs> so you're going to keep it then? I'm going to keep it and I'm going to give this, I'll also give it an 8 out of 10. Yeah. Cozy, comfy. But basic. But basic. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Yeah. I really like it and I think it's a little bit more than basic because it has to have the floral pattern, which is very me. I'm really into a floral pattern. <laughs> All right. Outfit number two. So outfit number two from Old Navy. I, when I was shopping online, I got so excited when I saw this. My absolute favorite little like sport dress from Old Navy that actually I've continued to wear in pregnancy. It's just getting a little tight at this point. <laughs> right. Comes in a maternity version. Oh, I know what this dress. You know the dress. <laughs> I wear this all the time. I have it in two different colors. <laughs> this is the maternity sleeveless power soft mini skirt dress in a double XL. It was $36. Yes, so for my second outfit for Old Navy, I went in a different a different vibe, but definitely still with the basics because it's all I could find on the Old Navy website. On my top, I got a maternity half zip fleece sweatshirt in a size medium for $20.99 and a maternity square neck tank top in a size large for $8.99. Um, this tank top, which is just like the most basic looking tank top I've ever seen in my life, uh, was a bestseller on their website. So I thought it would be nice to try because why is this a bestseller? I don't know, it looks basic as hell. So where with this, actually, have a pair of Old Navy maternity leggings that I got in a past video that I've now had for about two months and I wanted to try it on with this outfit because first of all I feel like this went with leggings and second of all there's a little discussion to be had about how these clothes hold up because it's not great. <laughs> so we've got our items. Let's go try them on. Oh my god you're so fun. I'm That's so nice. excited about this. I literally <laughs> wore this the non-maternity yesterday. <laughs> all right I am feeling sporty. Feeling yeah. a little chic. 
very sporty spice. Yeah, I feel like like the cool tennis mom. Oh, I love that. Which is how this non the non maternity version of this dress makes me feel, and I just reach for it all the time. And the maternity version is like exactly the same, except it has these gathers on the side, mm. extra room in the belly, and I think the skirt is like a little bit flowier too. But like all the same structural things that I love about the non maternity version, it's got the pocket on the oh. side, built in shorts, built in bra. I'm thrilled with this. How yeah. do you feel? Oh, I'm so cozy. I could simply go to bed right now. <laughs> this, all I can think about is this sweatshirt because I love it. I feel like a teddy bear. Like it's just, it's so soft. I literally want to take a nap right now in it. So this is a winner, this sweatshirt. These are the leggings I was talking about. Yes. That I've had for two or three months now. They're fine. They're cotton leggings. Uh, you know, they fit over the bump. So that's nice. Um, although they kind of ride down, but you know, I think that's just because they're not like super spandexy. Yeah. Um, they have a hole in them. Already? And I haven't worn them. I, I would say like I maybe wear them like once every other week, so I only wash them like every other week. And uh, listen, I'm not out here doing sports. <laughs> like I'm mostly out here sitting on my computer or on my couch. So I don't know where that hole came from or like what it is, but we are only wearing these clothes for like such a short period of time for them to not hold up for the like couple of months that we need them is right. weird. Like you don't need these to be a pair of leggings that last forever, right. but they do need to last like six months. Yeah, and they haven't. I'm so glad that you brought these and tried these with the outfit because I think that's something that we don't usually get to cover in a review because it's first impressions, it's trying it on, but how does that piece hold up over time? Right. And as cute as a lot of these old navy things are, at least we these. Know, yes, not all of them are going to, some of them are gonna match the price. Yeah. That's in terms of quality and that's just what it is. Um, but the sweatshirt, I'm really hoping gets no holes because I will be wearing this a lot more than once every other week. Honestly, maybe every single day. I don't see really any reason not to give this a 10 out of 10. Wow. What? Did she say it? She said it and she meant it. <laughs> I look so cute and I feel so comfy and I just, I love it. Now what about the tank top? What's going on under the, tank, the should comfy I strip? strip for us, Rachel? Mm. <laughs> How are you feeling in the tank top? You know. It's a tank top. It's fine. Thank God I'm wearing a bra. It's completely see-through. Actually, it is completely see-through. Yeah. I guess it's something to point out. It's an undershirt. Right. <laughs> I mean, I just can't wear this on its own. Yeah. Because you can see my leggings. You can see my bra. You can see my skin. So that's fine. It's an undershirt. It's a comfortable undershirt. It fits me just fine. Quality-wise, feels exactly how much it costs. Kind of surprised it's a bestseller. Super surprised. I, I think just, just because it's so basic, it must be a bestseller. Yeah. And maybe it's because I got white. Yeah. And maybe if I got black, it wouldn't have been so see-through, you know, but the white is see-through and white is a basic, normal, natural color to get. I don't think I'll keep this. And honestly, try not to be too subjective here, but I would say it's like a five out of 10. And how about your dress? I have to imagine it's a high rating. Yeah, definitely a high rating. But I do, I, I feel like when I first put it on, I'm like, I would be like, oh my God, 10 out of 10. It's perfect. No complaints, and that's true. But I'm now thinking of like, how necessary is this? How much wear will I get out of this versus just w continuing to wear the non-maternity version? Oh, like, so you still fit in your non-maternity version? Yeah, I can still wear it now at 24 weeks. It's getting a little tight, but it's like, okay, do I really need the exact sport dress for another 12 weeks? <laughs> for just that, like the shortest period of time. Right. <laughs> one, one trimester. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. I mean, it's nice that it, you know, you're able to continue wearing something and it, you know, Know, it is cheaper so it's not like you just broke the bank to get the same item yeah but yeah I completely understand what you're saying yeah and there is the thing of like when I wear the non maternity version it even though it fits it is starting to look a little funky in the way that the the front is so much higher because of my bump right and, and that's not happening no this has like a nice even hemline at the bottom it's a nice maternity sports dress totally I, I mean if you don't have one already I would say it's very cute because it's gonna grow and you know, you can play pickleball all the way up till you give birth. Which yeah. Obviously knowing you probably will. Except for the fact that every time I jump a little bit, I pee a little bit, so. <laughs> I could stand on the sidelines. Yeah, and look and cute. And look cute. That's just as hard, honestly. <laughs> I mean, it's hard work within this queue. But yeah, I do love this and I do have no complaints. And honestly, this feels like the quality feels like it's like Lululemon or something. It does feel really nice. Like it feels a lot and it feels and I think looks a lot nicer than the price. So I'm gonna give it a nine and a half out of 10. Oh my I, God. <laughs> yeah, I think I just can't quite, you know how stingy I am with my tens. Yes, I know you are. I just can't quite are. go to the 10. That's fair, that's fair. A nine and a half, that's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, that's unbelievable actually. I do love this. <laughs> Moving on to our second brand, Pink Blush. A little more expensive than Old Navy, 
but so much more variety. They have standard sizes and plus sizes. They have basics, they have trendier pieces, like really so much to choose from. Yeah. And it's clear to me that the plus size collection wasn't an afterthought. There were like four pages of oh, stuff good. in my size. I was like, I have so much to choose from. Okay, great. Good, that's good to hear after the disappointing news of Old Navy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I had way more fun shopping on this website. There's a lot of trendy pieces, um, a lot of stuff that I could tell I would look so adorable in while pregnant. I will say that they've actually sent me stuff. I have tried pink blush during this pregnancy before. They sent me some clothes not too long ago and I really liked them. Yeah. So I'm excited to see the clothes that we ordered today because I feel like they should also be of similarly good quality. It'll be interesting to see. The only thing I noticed, it was super cute, really trendy, and I had a lot of fun shopping on this website, but all of the things I initially wanted to purchase were sold out. Right. So I do think they sell out of stuff quickly because it is, I think, probably a very popular brand amongst pregnant women. It's yeah. So it's so cute. Well, maternity is like a niche space and I feel like they're right. one of, even though they're like a smaller company, they are one of the biggest brands in that. And I've also, you know, gotten PR from them before. I also shopped with them in my last pregnancy. I really liked like pretty much everything that I tried and I got a lot of wear out of it. All that being said, although we have, you know, received stuff from them for free in the past, this stuff we all paid for, we're gonna give you our honest opinion as we always would. Of course. Please, you know me, I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> so what was your first outfit choice? My first outfit choice was the beige button up maternity jumpsuit. I got it in a size large. There was a sale going on. So it was $50.40, that's at 30% off. I don't know, I just thought, I, I have a lot of those like unitars I bought since that Hated Trends video that we did. So I like the like one piece and I'm dressed kind of idea, but yeah. this is like a cuter, I could like go on a date in this, like it's an actual outfit and not just like long leggings. Right, right. <laughs> so that's, I'm excited to try this. Yeah, the picture from the website of this one looks so cute. She looks so trendy and cute. I'm like, oh, that could be me. <laughs> and then I chose this freaking shirt. Just looks so cute. This is like so me. The taupe striped button up in a 2XL slash 3XL. It was $28.70. And I like, I have lots of tops like this pre-pregnancy, but I can't really wear them now because the buttons are, you know, popping. So I'm so excited about this. It's like cute, it's boxy, the material feels like really nice and just that like yeah. billowy linen. It is a very like Sierra dad shirt from it your dad is. shirt era. Yes. <laughs> and what I love to pair a dad shirt with is a pair of denim shorts, which I got to complete this look. These are the navy blue distressed fringe maternity plus denim shorts, that's a mouthful, they're in a 2X, $47.60, and again, they have that like over the belly panel, like the Old Navy. I nice though, yeah. these look really cute. These look cute, they look comfortable. I'm a little worried about they're the length. Short, yeah. yeah, might have some trouble rub action <laughs> there. Some booty shorts. Yeah, <laughs> let the bump out, let the booty out. I love that we're color coordinated. I know, look at us, we're ones. so cute. We're so cute, I have problems with mine though, let's be honest. I <laughs> do as well, and they're the complete opposite ones I thought I was gonna have. Yeah, kind of same. Okay, you start, you start. Okay, um, my first problem is that, and I just, this is the color I chose. It's the exact same color as my skin. Like in, in my head, when I look at myself in the mirror, maybe not on the camera so much, but like, I, I think I thought it was gonna be more pink mm -hmm. and it's a little bit more like, skin. So I just feel a little naky in it. And then the other problem I have with it is that this bow tie is where my waist Used to be. <laughs> my waist is now my boobs. Oh, I was gonna say, can't you just move it up? But it has it has the, a seam. Yeah. So oh. I cannot. And it has the built-in belt loops on the side. It has the built-in belt loops and it has a seam. I thought I'd be like, you know, out. This has been like my Trader Joe's, like out on the. <laughs> that's the exciting activity I do every week. <laughs> on the town. I feel like I wouldn't wear this out because I feel naked because <laughs> of the color. <laughs> what about you? What are your problems? So I love the shorts. These are not too short for me at all. I don't know why they looked so short. No, definitely not too out short. Out of the package. Yeah. They also, I don't know if it's like a different construction, but these and this belly band is staying up 10 times better than the old navy jeans. Oh, interesting. These feel, I feel like I could wear these all day and I wouldn't be hiking like, them up. Yeah, do yeah. it. They're like snug, they're comfy, they're stretchy. I am absolutely keeping these and I'm so excited that I'm actually gonna be able to wear a cute pair of denim shorts because yeah. that's like a staple in my wardrobe that I just kind of thought wasn't a possibility. No, that's in pregnancy. huge. I don't have any shorts that fit me anymore. That's <laughs> huge. Honestly, I'm just gonna give the rating now. I can't say 10, can I say 10? You can no. say whatever you want. Because I would like a little bit more length on the inside because I do think I'll get a little bit of chub rub, which okay. I can fix with a little bit of that like body glide or you know, the little chub rub patches, but I am gonna give them a nine. Okay. And I did not expect that. 
Yeah, that is shocking. But they're really cute. Super cute. The shirt, I love the look, I love the style. I just don't know why it's so short in the front. It's oh. long in the back. You want it to go like, like the other way around. Yeah, because <laughs> it shows the belly band. Yeah, so, that's weird. Which is fine, you know, it's not the end of the world, but I would love for it to be just like a couple inches longer, cover that up. That being said though, I do still love it. Oh, I think it's so cute. Yeah, it's yeah. like boxy, it's comfy, it's flowy. I love the color and the stripes. It's giving like made well. It me. is giving, it's yeah. very made well. And you know, it's, I think you just wouldn't necessarily wear it with these shorts. Cause if you were wearing it with a pair of leggings, I think, you know, you wouldn't notice the like hemline as much. And it's really, it is a really cute, it looks comfy. It looks cozy. It looks put together. Yeah, it's just a little, I don't know why they would make a maternity shirt short in the front. It's unusual, but you know, I know. whatever. And a bummer, because I feel like if, if that was fixed, I would be just like, I honestly might give this a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I think you would. As is with the uh, little bump exposure here, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of 10. Still a great shirt, but I mean, I honestly, it doesn't knock off like two and a half points for this. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> okay. So I don't like the color, but I don't like the color on me. You're tanner than me. I think it would look much cuter on you if I was still getting spray tans, RIP. <laughs> it would look so much cuter on me. The fit is fine. Yeah. I got a large, large fits. It's just that this is not where my waist is anymore. <sighs> And you know what? It's giving Aladdin in the pants. <laughs> you know, like, let's just say it. I was gonna ignore it, but let's just say it. I think I'll give it four out of 10 because it fits in on a person with a different skin tone. It could be really cute, but it's simply not on me. I think I will be returning it. <laughs> Alrighty, our second pink blush outfit. We both got some pretty dresses to try on. And if you can see the color of mine, I am very excited because it is my favorite shade of purple, which is every shade of purple. <laughs> <laughs> I got this beautiful purple dress. It is the Lavender Lace Mesh Overlay Maternity Maxi Dress. I got it in a size large for 68.60. And I am so, I just like this dress screams like, I need, someone needs to take my photo if this looks and fits me the way I want it to because it's so pretty. <laughs> I agree. And I agree so much that I actually have that dress. Did you know that? No. I not, <laughs> not only do Did you I buy it because I picked it up. No, I bought this in my pregnancy with Grace in blue. And, and Kenzie that. bought it, the exact same one. Kenzie's behind the camera today in pink, she got it, and we did the photo shoot. I do know, wait, that's this dress? That's this dress. Well, you know, I think this was a bestseller on their website when I was shopping. It was like at the top of every dress page when I went to go look, so that makes sense. It's so pretty. Well, since I already have this dress, I did not <laughs> get that. I picked the mint button down short sleeve plus maternity dress in a size 2XL. It was 54.60. I love this color, like this just oh light sagey green. It's such a nice feeling material. It's like super flowy. Oh, it's soft. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. It's like a soft linen. I love a linen dress. You know how sometimes boutiques will sell like a linen looking dress and then it feels that like starchy no. polyester? This is real. I was kind of worried about that when I bought this. I mean, I don't know if it really is real, but if it isn't, they did a really great dupe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go try these dresses on. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> you look like the just ethereal goddess picture of purple and maternity. I just, I can't believe this. Not me crying. Like, look at you. <laughs> look, at, look at her. Thank you, stop it. It's, <laughs> like, if you don't wear this to your baby shower, like, I think I have oh, to sue. I think I'm gonna have to. It's beautiful. No, you... it is the prettiest thing I've put on since I've been pregnant. Oh. Like, I feel really beautiful and I feel like a princess. It's my absolute favorite color. <laughs> I know I said that before, but I love the lace detailing. I love the sleeves. I love the way it fits my bum. I can see why this is a bestseller. I can see why you have one. I can see why I can. <laughs> He has one and why I now have one. And honestly, as every member of the Trollsy Collective gets pregnant, if that's what they choose to do, we should just give them <laughs> give their them honorary the dress. dress. <laughs> yeah, I am really, 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 really happy with this. The only thing that I wasn't expecting, and it's not that I like dislike it or anything, is that it's a little see-through in the back. So I would just either not wear a bra or like wear a nude colored bra or something. Yeah. Um, I didn't notice that when I ordered it, but honestly, I think it's still really pretty. I think actually that makes it even prettier. I just am not wearing the right undergarments at this moment. So I'm ready to go ahead and so just say, I'm gonna keep it and give it a 10 out of 10. Wow! No, I said it, it's done. I was gonna say, like, any complaints, any issues, but no? Um, well, it doesn't have pockets. Oh. Mine does have pockets, Boom. check them out. That Look gives it a that. bonus point. It does, yeah. for sure, yeah. for sure. You know I love a dress with pockets. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs>
<laughs> we have things. Girls have things. We need to put Jeez. things in our pockets. Yeah, I actually, I really do like this dress. It's just like a, like a nice linen, simple spring summer dress. It's really pretty. This is another one of my favorite colors and looks gorgeous on you. Thank you. So I do really like this dress. I'm a little torn on it. I really like most aspects of the way that this fits. The length is like the perfect ideal length for me for like a longer or like midi dress. It's nice and flowy. The fabric feels just like light and airy. It's got the pockets, cute little sleeves. I like the neckline and the button up, but the chest does fit a little weird on me. Okay. It, so it's got this elastic here and it, it kind of rides up or just hits a little bit high on me mm -hmm. where it kind of feels like it's cutting my boob off at it's a weird space. cutting your chest in half as opposed to like sitting underneath your... Yeah, I want it to sit a little lower and then because it's elastic, it kind of rides up at some points and then I feel like it makes my boobs look kind of weird. Huh. I think your boobs look fine. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it also could be a bra thing because I'm wearing a yeah. bralette. If I was wearing a more structured cupped bra, but who has time for that when you're pregnant? Right. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> if that's how you feel, but I will just say like from a from an outside perspective, it doesn't look awkward and it looks really cute. I really like it. Thank you. Yeah. It looks like such a cute version of Rapunzel and Pascal. <gasps> We're Disney Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> We're Disney bounding. <laughs> I can't unsee it. Oh my God. See, at first I was see thinking this is giving like Little House on the Prairie, you know, like kind of like cottage yeah, corny cottage vibes. Corner, yeah. yeah, but now I'm like Pascal. Yes. <laughs> oh, now she likes it. Yeah. <laughs> now she's like, well, we can wear these to Disney. We'll yeah, say no more. Yeah, they're, they're, I'm sold. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, there's a lot I like about this dress. I feel like I'm fixating a little bit on the, the boob situation. But well, really, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, then it makes you feel uncomfortable. But yeah. I think from my perspective, it, it doesn't stand out as odd. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. Yeah. And it is just such like a comfy, breezy dress. It's so cute. It's such like an easy thing to be able to throw on yeah. and feel put together. And then you could wear it in your everyday life, but you could also wear this to like an event or something. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's versatile, it's comfy. This is a little weird, but other than that, I really like it. So I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of 10. I really like it. Okay, before we do the next outfit, I did grab my dress in blue in this. <laughs> I don't, should and I put it on twin. and we can twin? Yes. <laughs> All right, here is the same dress in, I think, a 2X in a blue. 2X? I love it. I love it. Now we're Rapunzel and Cinderella. I just love this dress. <laughs> it's, oh my God, we are. <laughs> Putting this on, I just feel so beautiful. Yeah, you, I mean, you now look like a maternal goddess. Oh, thank you. Like every woman, who, pregnant woman who puts this on, it just like emphasizes it correctly and in like a beautiful, tasteful, stunning little way. Would you give this a 10 out of 10? Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what I originally rated this because I did get it for a review. Okay. But if I didn't give it a 10 then, which I think I did, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Should we go? A little bump. Bump, bump. <laughs> Our third and final brand, the most expensive by far. Oh my God, yeah. Is Stork. Yes. I was flabbergasted by the prices when I was going on this website. I was a little overwhelmed. There was a lot of things I wanted to pick out. Like I saw this really cute sweater and I was like, oh, I need this sweater. Was and it the mama and baby nursing cardigan? Yeah, it was a cardigan, it was I, a cardigan. I have looked back at that over and over. I didn't buy it for this video because it was like over $200. Oh, yeah, exactly. I have looked back at it so many times being like, it looks so cozy and I could cuddle my oh, newborn I baby in it. so bad, but then I was like cuddling the newborn baby and the newborn baby like vomits all over your $200 cardigan. <laughs> right. I'm like, excuse me, baby, <laughs> this was $250. <laughs> so I had fun on this site, but I was also like really overwhelmed. I was just, all I could think about when we were placing our orders was like, this quality better be like God tier because yeah. if it's not, then, it's, then these prices are outrageous. I bought a pair of overalls from Stork during my pregnancy with Grace and they were like, my favorite thing in pregnancy with her. I wore them so much. I've worn them in this pregnancy. They were very expensive, but I will say like I did love them. However, I haven't repurchased anything else from them just because of that cost. It's insane. Yeah, and with maternity stuff, you're really only wearing it for like five to six months. Right. But what I do like about Stork is it seems like many, most of their pieces, they say are designed to be worn in pregnancy, postpartum, and beyond. So. I will say that I, I can see that with what I order, that yes. it would be really good for at least also postpartum. And just like sitting here touching it incessantly, it's really soft. So already we're off to a good start, but still, 
it's this is the top tier, like financial top tier of this video for a reason. I think it is important to note that Stork does manufacture all of their items ethically and they focus a lot on sustainable materials. So those, you know, they, those justifiably drive up the price and I see the value there. Like I understand where it comes from. Yes, that is important. And of course that would drive up the price, but as the consumer, yes. <laughs> it, while I love that and I would love to support that more frequently, it makes it harder just because, you know, it's not as accessible. Right. You know. And so that being said, with the other brands, we did two outfits with Stork. We did one. So the one item that I chose to get was the Sleep Etc. Nursing Dress. I got it in a size large and it was $78, which, you know, expensive, but if it's a really nice dress and I wear it all the time, then it should be good. It has a little nursing bra built in, so I do think it will be useful postpartum. Actually, I was thinking about maybe even bringing this to the hospital with me as my little like hospital dress outfit yeah. after I give birth because it's cute for pictures <laughs> and I can breastfeed. And it feels extraordinarily comfortable. It almost feels like, touch please touch it. It's oh like my god! luxurious, like pajamas, but cute like a day dress. So I'm excited to try this on and put it to the test. Okay, so I really wanted to get the bike shorts from Stork because I was like the high quality pair of bike shorts. I will wear those like every day in pregnancy, but they were sold out in my size. Mm -hmm. So went back to the drawing board and I saw these cozy rib day to night pants. I got them in a three XL. They just looked like so cute, but also so soft and comfy. Oh my God, these are nice. So they're like a super high rise, stretchy ribbed pant. It says they're designed for like all stages of pregnancy and beyond. Mm -hmm. So again, with that price point, I'm like, okay, they were $78 and that was also the sale price. They were final sale. Oh God. <laughs> But um, if I can get wear out of these, not only now being pregnant, but long after. Yeah, they look so cozy. They look fantastic. I'm just hoping that these fit well. Yeah. Because again, final sale, it's a little risky. Ooh, you're right. <laughs> but I feel like this could be something that I reach for constantly. Yeah, and they're like your favorite color. Yes. Yeah. And then on top, I decided to go with one of their tank tops. This is the Daily Tank, size 2XL, $54. I, I feel like because their quality is so amazing, having a tank top like this that I can layer with so many things and wear on its own in this like, you know, amazing fabric and quality could end up being the best like cost per use wise. It says, let's get comfortable together on the Amen. <laughs> Less. I don't know which one's my favorite now. I love this dress so much. I love the purple one, but the minute I put this on, I was like, um, I'm simply never taking this dress off ever you, again. You look amazing. It <gasps> looks beautiful on you. It also looks so comfortable. You have to take this to the hospital. Oh, done. Done. Like I love it. it's so like it's so soft. It's so stretchy. Like it's gonna keep growing. And I oh I like I don't want to take it off. Keeping 10 out of 10. Wow. No question. It's got the floral design, which is my thing. I like that. And the what do you call these? Like breastfeeding? Yeah, the nursing clips. Nursing clips? Yeah. I have a couple of things that I bought with nursing clips from different stores, and these are by far the most like sturdy, the easiest to take on and off. They're also the ones that I feel they're not gonna come off on their own. That's a big thing. Do you think it's worth the price? Ooh. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. I do actually. I think this was what, $78? Yes. Yeah, that's obviously more than I would normally spend on pajamas, etc. <laughs> I like this is going to be my hospital outfit. The first photo that I take with my son will be in this no. dress. And like, I guess like putting it through the first wash will be its real first test, but I have a feeling it's gonna hold up really well. And the, just the way that these are constructed, I can tell the whole garment is put together with a lot of intention. And so with that, plus all of the ethically sourced and made materials kind of thing, yes, I do think it is fairly priced. <laughs> it's unfortunate that it's not like the most accessible piece of clothing, but it is really nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it looks like an amazing dress. I absolutely see why you gave it a 10 out of 10. I love it. I love, let's talk about you. Let's talk about me. Yeah. <laughs> You look very comfortable. I feel very comfortable. I really like this, although I don't like it the same level that you like this dress, which makes sense because like this dress is everything. <laughs> um, the pants, I'm really glad that I did size up in. I got a 3XL. One of the things that I saw in the notes on the description of this item was that some people thought that the band fit a little bit tight in the third trimester. Oh. So for that reason, I wanted to size up and also because I didn't want these to fit like leggings. Yes, and they don't. They, they fit like a, like a loose ribbed pant, which is yeah. what I wanted. It fits nicely on the bump, but I don't think there's gonna be too much fabric here to not be able to wear it postpartum. And it's very you. Like Thank I could you. see you putting this in app, maybe because of the color and it's yeah. just your color, but like I could see you putting 
put making a lot of outfits with these pants. Yeah, I think so. And also reaching for these for pajamas, for lounging, mm. for everything. And what about the shirt? Shirt's nice. It's incredibly soft. I feel like this is like the best quality tank top you could get. Yeah. That's oh, the difference between this one and my old navy one. <laughs> right. Fit is great. Comfort's great. I kind of like scrunched it up with these pants at first, but it also is long enough that you could pull it down if you wanted to wear it with maternity yeah. jeans yeah. or something. I am going to keep it. I'm, well, I have no choice on the pants, but I would keep them regardless. Oh, right. right. <laughs> right. They're final set. But the top, I am going to choose to keep because it feels so nice. I really am struggling to find things that I can wear on top right now that aren't like a baggy sweater. Um, and so I think I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of this. I also love that I'll be able to use it as an undershirt. So what are the ratings? Okay, the pants, I am gonna give, I'm gonna give a nine out of 10. Whoa! Honestly, uh, pretty great. Like really no complaints, but like I said, I'm stingy with those tens. <laughs> I know, but you've had a lot of high scoring items this uh, this video. I have. I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed by all these brands. And the tank top, I, I think I'm gonna give an eight out of 10. And really those points are just coming off for the price. Yeah. For a basic black tank top, I feel like this is the best quality, the best fit, the best comfort you're gonna get. But it's not, like not everybody could purchase it. Yeah, and which is unfortunate. It's unfortunate, there's a reason and we understand it, but you know, that's the trade off with fashion. Fashion is complicated. Yeah, yeah, it is. What was your favorite item you put on today? Honestly, kind of a wild card, but it might be the pink blush denim shorts. No, that, that makes sense. Yeah I, yeah, I feel like that's kind of a hard thing to get right and those were so great. For me, it's obviously, it's between this dress and the pink blush purple dress. They're so different. Like yeah. what I would use them for is so different. And I, I kind of am leaning towards this dress for a couple of reasons. One, it's something I could wear more frequently. Yeah, cost per use. Cost per use is definitely going to be better in this dress. I think for that, and it's so comfortable and so nice. And it's just, I, I love that purple dress. And I will be wearing that purple dress for special moments and photos, but it's definitely not something I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's in. Yep. You know, which is my favorite place to go apparently. <laughs> for that reason, I think this is my favorite thing I've put on. All right, well, that is everything that we have for you today. This is your last video. I will be back after my maternity leave and I will have a child. You will. And that is wild. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> no, this has been great. Thanks for uh, watching this video and thanks for watching my final video. And I just like, I can't believe it. I know. I'm gonna leave here and then I'm not gonna be in the studio for a couple of months. And then when I come back, I'm gonna have a baby and my whole life is gonna be different. You guys can keep up with Rachel on her Instagram, Rachel Rambles, and her YouTube channel, also Rachel Rambles. We will see you back here in the summer. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.